kumquats, mangoes, tangerines, drat. No raspberry ice. Maybe some marzipan on toast. Marzipan on toast? Flora, that's the kind of midnight snack that'll give you nightmares. Oh, hello, Father. Why are you up? Oh, I have a few matters of state to think about. And what's keeping you up so late? Well, it's the big tennis match tomorrow. Oh, yes, you and Alexander against Palm and Wilhelmina. Are you worried about it? I just wish I could play better. I always miss shots, and Alexander gets so mad at me. In time, I'm sure you'll be as good a player as Alexander, Flora. Rather than thinking about what you can't do, perhaps you should think about what you can do. What do you mean, Father? Well, let me explain with the help of my Midnight Marauder Double Decker Royale. What's a Double Mid Decker Night Marauder Royale? It's my own invention. Egg salad on pumpernickel with Russian dressing and my secret ingredient. A story. Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious. A long time ago, when I was just a boy living in the city with the old lady, it seemed as though I had everything I could ever want. But ever since the hunter had separated me from my elephant friends and family, there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't think about them and miss them very much. Good morning, Baba. What a lovely day. Yes, it is, madam. A lovely day. I see. And do all lovely days make you look so sad? Oh, I was just thinking about Celeste, Arthur, and Cornelius. You must take heart and trust in fate, Baba. The day will come when you will see them again. You're right, madame. And when I do, I will introduce them to a dear friend who they will grow to know and love like I have. Oh, well then, <clears throat> how about breakfast followed by a brisk walk in the park to see what new birds we can add to our discoveries? A blue jay? That's right, Baba. And a grey-breasted... Huh? What, what is it, Baba? It, it was nothing. I could have sworn I saw... Baba? Baba! Celeste, is it really you? I must be dreaming. How did you get here? When you never returned, we got very worried, Baba. We kept looking for you going further and further until... Until we got lost. Arthur! I told you if we got lost enough, we'd find him. I'm hungry. Then I know just the place where everyone can get reacquainted. Oh, please forgive me. Madame, I'd like you to meet my dear friends, Celeste and Arthur. Hello, Celeste. Hello, Arthur. I was so happy seeing my friends again. We set off to introduce them to their first taste of city life. <laughs> Although Arthur showed a knack for wearing his cream puffs, he had considerably less success when it came to wearing clothes. In time, Arthur and Celeste grew accustomed to their new surroundings, and with a little coaching from Madame and myself, they came to learn that life in the city was definitely nothing to sneeze at. They discovered that wonderful fragrances can come from bottles as well as blossoms, and that too much of a good thing is often too much to bear. Arthur was especially fascinated by musical instruments and was the first to experience the true impact of music. I shall never forget that day in the city. I'd almost forgotten what playing with my friends was like. And the happiness I felt was second only to the joy I took in sharing my good fortune with good friends. <laughs> it was a grand afternoon, but all good things must come to an end. So you see, we came to bring you back home, Babar. The elephants need you. It's terrible. The hunter is chasing us deeper and deeper into the jungle. <gasps> the 
hunter. You must go, Baba. I've always known in my heart of hearts that this time would come. Your family needs your help. And I think with all I have learned here, I can help. Then it's settled. We have much to do before you go, Baba. Now don't forget to to wear your hat in the sun and and oh, Baba, I'm going to miss you so, as I am going to miss you, Madame. Thank you for all you have done, all you have given me, and all you have taught me. So, so you don't, don't forget, forget me. How could I ever forget you? Now get going before I make a scene. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll meet again soon. I promise. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, Celeste. Arthur, I wonder if I'll ever see my little Baba again. It was difficult for me to leave Madame and all the friends I had made in the city. But although the urge to stay was strong, the concern I felt for my family was even stronger. They needed my help to stop the hunter, and there was no distance too great that would keep me from reaching them. This can't be it, Celeste. This must be the most miserable place in the whole jungle. Then this is it, all right. Shh! Did you hear that? What, Baba? I'll hold them off. You two make a run for it. My tusks! I don't believe it. Cornelius? Is that you? More appropriately, Baba, is that you? It's Babar, everyone! It's not the hunter, it's Babar! I don't know to mention Arthur and Celeste. We've been worried sick. Sorry, we got lost and found Babar in the city on the other side. Babar, my boy. I knew you'd come back. I kept telling everyone that Babar's just too clever for the hunter. Only about 2,000 times. But even so, I must say it's a relief and a pleasure to see you again, Baba. How are you, Pompadour? Well, taking everything that's happened into consideration, lucky to be alive. I dare say better than you. What happened? You're all green. Oh, this? It's a suit. See? It comes off. Oh, my tusks. You can shed your skin. Like a snake. Yeah. Clothes are like skins you can change. And some of them itch like the dickens. Mm, they are rather attractive. And we brought back all sorts of gifts, Mother. Powder and perfume. And cream puffs. <laughs> That's a gramophone. Oh, I have so much to tell you, and I'm so happy to have found you all safe and sound. That's a matter of opinion. We kept moving, thinking we would find sanctuary, but now we realize nowhere is safe from the relentless hunter. Not even this miserable place. Your Highness. You left when this trouble all started, Babar. It is good you have returned, as we are about to put an end to it. Tomorrow we stand and fight as elephants should. The king has a plan. It's him, the hunter. Baba, hurry! Fortunately enough, I had led the hunter away from the others, but I knew he would never give up the hunt. Can't even find 
something decent to eat around here. And the hunter is closing in once again. We will run no further. Tomorrow at dawn, we will drive him from the jungle. I call for an elephant stampede. Shh, quietly. Your Highness, this is madness. The hunter has a gun. Traps! We must outthink him. It's all very well for you to say, Babar. You've forgotten what it's like to live in the jungle. You have been away in the city on the other side a long time, Baba. The elephant stampede is an honorable battle tradition that goes back to the days of the mighty mammoths. Isn't that so, Your Majesty? Your Majesty? My tusks! Your Majesty! Cornelius, what happened? It's the mushrooms. They're poison. Horus, what can we do now? Our illustrious king has sadly departed from us. Although he is gone, his wisdom and courage will live on in our hearts forever. We will proceed with the old king's final wishes. Tomorrow, we stampede! We have little choice, Babar. It's madness. We don't stand a chance. It's almost dawn. I kept you up all night, Celeste. Oh, tell me again about the Elephant City, Babar. It sounds wonderful. Well, it's just an idea, but it does sound wonderful, doesn't it? Sometimes I can close my eyes and see it. White and pink houses sparkling in the sun. Wide streets with flower-laden boulevards. Parks where the children can play in safety. And it would be our home forever. And no one could ever chase us away from it. But first we have to make this land safe from those who would harm us. We must deal with the hunter. Do you think you can convince the elders to call off the stampede? I have to try. <sighs> Is it time, Babar? Yes, it's time. <sighs> Where are the others? Why, they've left. Well, the stampede. Come on, we can still catch up to them. You will stay here. You are too young to participate in an elephant stampede. I don't want to participate. I want to stop it. How dare you disregard? Come back! But nothing I could say or do would convince the elders that the stampede was doomed to failure. And fail it did. What is this ivory the hunter speaks of? And zoos and circuses? What are those things? It seems that us elephants are in high demand on the other side. How horrible! Baba was right. The elephant stampede was doomed to failure. It's not over yet, Pompadour. Baba is still out there. The hunter has everyone trapped. It's up to us to free everyone. But Baba, there are only three of us. We have an advantage, Celeste. We know more about the hunter than he thinks. We do? Yes. Come on, let's go. I don't know. Of my tasks, I hope Baba has something to do with it. I always suspected that the knowledge I acquired in the city would come in handy someday. And that day had come. Now! Hooray, Baba! He's found the gramophone! Hurry! Yeah. Arthur, head for the river like we planned.
Boy, good work. The gifts from the city took a real beating, but they sure came in handy. Uh, just as well. I don't think I'd be much good on those wheeled shoes. <laughs> Roller skates, Cornelius. You gave us the best gift of all, Babar. Yes, freedom from fear. <laughs> Once again, the forest was at peace. We were safe from the hunter's gun and finally returned home. It's still here, and still as beautiful as ever. Oh, it's so good to be home. I couldn't agree more. I wish the king could have seen our home one last time. It is now our solemn duty to appoint a successor to the throne. And there is only one among us who has the wisdom, the perception, and the vision to lead us. You deserve it, Cornelius. Huh? Kneel, Baba. I always suspected, as your mother did, Baba that you were destined for greatness. She would be proud of you. Rise, Baba, King of the Elephants. I am your king, as you are my people. But more than that, I am your brother, as you are my family. The days of running, hiding, and living in fear are over. The jungle is changing all around us, and we will learn to change with it. It will not be easy, but together we will grow strong and happy. That is my promise to you. And that is how I became king. You see, Flora, knowing your opponent makes you a formidable adversary. I knew the ways of the hunter, and so I was able to get the better of him with a bit of luck. Hmm. Actually, Pon has a weak backhand. That's right, he does. We thought we heard voices. It's not that weak. Besides, Alexander has a lousy second serve. Do not. Do so. Do not. <laughs> Good thing we made the sandwich family size. It seems you all know your opponent's weaknesses. Tomorrow's tennis match should be an interesting one. All right, finish your sandwiches and off to bed, everyone. You'll need your rest for the game. I can't sleep now. I'm too excited. We might even win. Never happen. To bed, all of you. Save the competition for the tennis match. Aren't you coming, Father? Mother? In a little while. Good night. Good night. I don't know about you, Babar, but I'm in the mood for a hot fudge triple truffle sundae. Ah, the romantic dessert. Let's see now. Whipping cream, eggs, chocolate. Don't forget the story. 